hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you about uh, how to find out uh, which character is pressed or which keyboard which key is pressed inside our keyboard so basically every computer every laptop has a keyboard attached to it and basically we print uh, something when i type here you can see that so what characters i am typing on the keyboard so it is giving me the live proof of proof so which characters i am typing here so it is displaying it right here just below the text field so basically we will be doing it using the keyboard event which is there inside every browser chrome firefox so these events are provided inside javascript so we will not be using any sort of third party library it is all built in in javascript so there are various events out there inside javascript which is on click so whenever you click any of the element that event triggers whenever on load event also on change similarly mouse events we discussed it in the last video now in this video we will talk about the keyboard press event so whenever we press something on the keyboard that key will be detected automatically which key is uh, uh, pressed by the keyboard uh, user so we will be detecting live here and printing this value like this so you can see that so you can find more about these events just write list of events in javascript and uh, there is a website called as w3schools.com it's a very popular website for web developers it contains all the events that are very popular events on change on click on mouse over on mouse out on key down on load so you can read more about it inside this website so let's start building this application guys so uh, i have given the source code of this application in the video description this is my blog post on codingsiksha.com so if you want to get the source code of this application you can simply go to the blog post so you can go to the description of this live stream you will find the blog post link here and simply what you can do is that go to it and copy paste the source code so let's start building this application so here we will have uh, the key press event in javascript so basically we will have a simple input field guys so input type text so we will have uh, input attached to it so it should be required and after that guys we will have a div info and here we will be populating all the keys which are pressed by the key uh, user now we will write need to write the javascript part so the very first time we can attach this event which is key press is by using the attribute so what we can do is that we can write on key press so here we can execute a simple function which is get text and here we can pass the event that's it so now what we can say here get text event we can get it as an argument so basically if you just console log event just to get the information which keyword which uh, key is pressed by the user if i open it inside live go to inspect element go to the console here if i type any key here you will see this keyboard event will be triggered and automatically this information is displayed here the key is v here i pressed it so once again this keyboard event is triggered y key is pressed here so basically it's a code here key y location zero control key all these properties are there inside this keyboard event object you can just access this object and basically let's suppose if you want to event dot key so this is the value that we need to print out so basically you will see g y u here so in the live preview you can see on the right hand side in the console we are getting the values which the user has pressed here using simple event dot key so similarly if you want to get the code of this so we can simply say console log event dot code so this will be the two letter digit code numeric code so you can see key f key g you can see that so similar fashion guys we will do it like this so just do it so here we will first of all declare a key variable let key and here first of all we will say if window dot event so basically here we are checking that if this is an event then we will be initializing key to e dot key code that's it you can also console log it the key here so if you now refresh it you will now see if i press key here 
So basically it is saying that E is not defined. So we can make this as E here. So you can see this is the numeric code that I was talking about guys. You can see 97. So every key on the keyboard has a unique numeric code attached to it. So basically it's called as SKI code. So if you just search here inside Google SKI code every character has a different unique sky code so if you search sky code for a it will be 97 so basically if i press the keyboard key which is 90 uh, sorry a this will be 97 so exactly so b is 98 c is 99 d is 100 so every character guys capital a has 65 capital B is 66 so in this way every key attached in the keyboard has a unique SKI code so from this we can print out this value and then inside the else field we will have uh, we will again have if condition e dot which so here we can print out the key so key is equal to e dot which like this so now to display this guys uh, it is very simple we can simply say var string and here we can simply say document dot get element by id we have given this to info we can initialize the inner html to it so you can see we have given the id here so we are simply initializing a variable and storing this value after that what we can do is that we can concatenate plus is equal to plus is equal to and then we can simply convert the sky code to the string so from character code and we can pass the key here that's it and then we can simply say document dot get element by id info inner html is equal to string that's it so now our job is complete guys so if you now write something here you will see the live preview in the you can see in the console also the sky code is printing here and also you see at the below the live preview of which characters are being pressed on the keyboard so in this way guys you can attach this on key press event and you can detect whichever keys are pressed by the user on the keyboard there are multiple ways by which you can do it using the attribute also on key press or you can also attach like this also this is totally up to you add event listener you can at, uh, add this key press event and then call this function which is get text like this so you no longer have to do like this simply delete this if you now refresh it it will still work you can see that uh, i think uh, Mm, window dot event I think the previous way was slightly better so for this you don't you only need to attach it using the attribute way so this is correct so in this way guys you can do it hopefully you will like this video if you like it then please hit the like button also comment on this video how you like my teaching style and uh, please subscribe the channel as well.